So will luxury home sales continue to move higher? We want to bring in Rogers Healy, owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate. Rogers, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. What's behind this luxury market move? I think all the people that were sitting on the sideline the last four or five months, they're, they're back off and they're ready. And, you know, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. It's just people were hesitant and interest rates are starting to creep up a little bit. So I think they want to get in there before it's too late. Gerard, Bob Nardelli here. Um, question on, on the high end. Most of this is coming out of inventory as opposed to new home starts. Is, is that what you're seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, especially we're based in Texas and in places like Houston, obviously with the oil and gas market taking an adjustment the last 18 to 24 months, a lot of those homes that those guys had were on the market. And so we, we don't see a whole lot of new, new inventory. Um, and, and rarely do you see people do spec homes over a certain price per square foot. And, and obviously square footage mark. So yeah, we, we have seen that, uh, you know, quite significantly. So well, go ahead, Dave. No, you go ahead. No, just, so so you mentioned price per square foot. Uh, what what are these luxury homes going for now? Is it uh, well above? It's all well above what? Well above thousand, two thousand a square foot. I mean, in places like Manhattan, yeah, that's that's the norm. But in a place like Texas, out of our top markets, we'll see the highest price per square foot go around three forty. For an average for luxury, and that's in a place like Austin. But you know, there, there's some uh, some submarkets in Dallas and Houston, even in Midland, which is an oil and gas-based city, where we'll see 800 to 1,200 a foot. But you know, other than the uh, Orange County, Manhattan places, maybe some in Miami, as far as high rises are concerned, a thousand to 2,000 a foot is is really aggressive. I, I think that luxury relevant to the city, you're really going to see three to five hundred dollars per square foot. Roger, in, Roger. In terms of the turnaround in oil prices, though, how much do people in in the state start talking about that? In terms, is as the oil and gas business kind of um, comes back online in the coming months and even years with the rebound in oil prices, are they right. talking about that in the real estate business? Well, I, I think it's a good thing all around, and I think that the people that were necessarily getting a good deal as far as prices is, is concerned on the purchase side of luxury homes, that's going to that's going to continue to slam. But you know, with oil and gas prices in increasing, we're going to see some the people that have an oil and gas career have more money to spend on the luxury real estate market. So I, I think we're going to be okay. Obviously, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for first-time home buyers, which is why we've seen. A continued increase for first-time home buyers, not just in the luxury market, but just in the entry-level market you, as well. When you talk about the first-time home buyer, uh, what's the demographic? Because you do hear that uh, you know uh, the I guess the millennial generation is waiting longer and not really buying a starter home. They're waiting and saving and buying the house later on. And what what trends are you seeing? Yeah, so an interesting trend we saw in 2016 is there's actually twice as many single women first-time home buyers as single men. And I think that's also why there's a direct correlation with condo increases mm. going out, especially in Texas. We had almost a 10% increase in condo sales this year. Uh, so I, I think we're going to continue to see these trends shift. And we've talked about it before with the rental rates, you know, skyrocketing. I think that the yuppie uh, first-time homebuyer generation, they're going to continue to go further and further out, uh, which is going to go and create a you know supply and demand situation with yeah. with spec homes that are in that entry level price point so when, when do rates catch up with everything i mean today we've got a federal reserve meeting two-day meeting today and tomorrow we're expecting janet yellen tomorrow to come out and say we're raising rates quarter of a point uh at least then mortgage rates probably creep up even further when does that catch up with the euphoria and really take a bite out of things slow things down you know i think that the good news is we've got a president-elect who's a real estate guy, That's and I know true. that he's yeah. going to go out of his way. Yeah, he's going to go out of his way to make sure the real estate market stays stable, if not stays, um, you know, on fire. But we, we've seen an increase in rates right now. We're over four percent. A year ago, now we were at you know three and a quarter, and we just had our housing report come out that we had the highest fourth quarter in the history of Texas with almost a hundred thousand homes sold. So all these people that were supposedly going to be freaking out haven't. <laughs> uh, so my, you know, my, my wishful thinking is that it's not going to be, you know, that big of an effect on the market like people think. So is it a buyer's market right now or a seller's market? It, it's all relevant. You know, it, it, right now, traditionally, the fourth quarter is the slowest. But right now, we just had the best fourth quarter we've ever had. <laughs> and traditionally, everything after Thanksgiving until Valentine's Day on the residential real estate side is quote unquote slow. But it's the busiest that we've seen it on all of our markets. So. You know, I, I think that it's just a matter of, of creating a sense of urgency on both sides and keeping people educated, and, and we'll see what happens. All right, and we will watch it. Thank you, Rogers.
You got it. Thank Roger you. Roger Healy joining us there. Come up.